to another one of my favorite proteins, which is buffalo tenderloin. Now, why buffalo? Well, first of all, I'm going to give this a step while, he's, while I'm talking about the buffalo. I'm going to have him prepare it. But as he's preparing it, the reason why I like buffalo is because it gives you omega-3. Remember, this is a grass-fed animal. It's not corn-fed. These animals are sort of wild, but, you know, corralled at the same time. They're eating grass, and they're getting alpha-linolenic acid in their food. And when you have that, you're getting powerful omega-3 activity. Why buffalo again? No growth hormone. It's against the law to give buffalo growth hormone. So basically, buffalo is one of the perfect proteins. Also is low in fat. Step's going to sear it with coconut oil and uh, an olive oil, and he's going to tell you why he uses that combination, but we're going to sear it, cook it, and this has tremendous medicinal value. Again, one of my favorite proteins. Go ahead, Steph. So it goes into the pan. Oh, you nice put garlic heat, on it and pepper and salt. Garlic, pepper and salt. And we have a coconut oil and olive oil blend, which actually lowers the smoke point and therefore doesn't oxidize the fat. It's, it's not, it's not going to create an inflammatory response in the body. So now that we have this serum, we put it back in the heat. You know, a lot of people don't realize this, but coconut oil is one of the healthiest oils of all. It's a saturated fat. As Steph says, it's resistant to oxidation. Look, folks, the polyunsaturated oils like canola oil, corn oil, safflower oil, soybean oil, they oxidize. And in the body, that's inflammation. So coconut oil is good for you. And remember, olive oil is as good for you as well because it doesn't elicit an insulin response. And because it's a monounsaturated fat, you don't get the oxidative stress like you do with the polyunsaturated fats. So we're going to finish up this buffalo. I'm going to flip the buffalo over, Dad. Oh, quick. Remember, you want to eat buffalo on the medium rare, rarer side because it's very tender. If you've overcooked buffalo, it's going to be on the tough side. So this is going to be pan seared, and we'll be eating this shortly. Okay, Steph's finishing the buffalo, and okay, Dad, there it here is. We go. Now, Steph, you cooked it for how long? Uh, about five minutes on each side, medium to high heat. All right, great. And now he's going to slice it and add some sea salt to it and some extra virgin olive oil, just drizzle it, and then I'm gonna put it on a bed of greens. Now, today I have pea shoots, but I can use arugula, I can use chopped up lettuce, I can use spinach, any bed of greens. So I'm gonna prepare this, put a little lemon on it, just a little fresh lemon, give it some more antioxidant value, a little vitamin C, and I'm gonna put on a little onion. Some people like onion on it, others don't. Onion goes very good with buffalo. Now remember, onion has quercetin in it. Onion is a powerful antioxidant. It lowers cholesterol, it reduces blood pressure, and it's just phenomenal for re what we call reducing the oxidation of LDL. And now, as Step is slicing the tenderloin, oh, you can see it. It's fabulous. nice and rare. It's loaded with this enzymes. This looks fantastic, Dad. He's Here just going to slice that on. Right over that bed of greens. And I guarantee you're not going to gain any weight with this meal. This meal is like... This is lean. This is really low carb. you got a lot of good healthy protein. you got a lot of good, good uh, antioxidant value That's in the beautiful. You want to salt it greens. up, Dan? Yeah, salt it up, a sprinkle some of salt, and put some pepper on it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna drizzle this with a little olive oil again. You know, uh, just to, now the olive oil and the pepper and salt is actually the garnish for the salad. So you have a salad. You got your you know everything you need. If you want any tomatoes or cucumbers, you can do it. But this is terrific and it's healthy. Ready to go. Good job, son. Nice, Dad. All right. All right. Let's eat.